Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor. Today we're gonna talk about sick vocabulary. Not sick when it comes to, oh, this is sick, this is crazy. No, when somebody is sick or you're sick, what phrases do we use then? Okay? And this video is gonna be only on phrases. Something that we say to each other, we ask questions or whatever. This is not gonna be a video about just one individual word. Okay, because those can be easily translated on Google Translate or any other resource, really. And you don't need me for that. So if you, if you want to translate some sickness or some whatever one word, then please use Google Translate for that because um, I want to give you something that is useful and something that can, I can only give you, okay? But if I just start mentioning the sicknesses and, and all of that, that can be easily replaced by Google Translate. So please, if you need that, go there. But today we're going to talk about how to say that you're sick, what hurts of your body, if you're getting better, if you're getting recovered. Okay? So the first one is Я заболел. I got sick. Я заболел. Or we can say Я болею. I am sick. So it's just different, different tense. Of course, you can re replace that Я with whoever the person is, T for you, on for, for him, etc. You know all of those. Next one is У меня болит голова. My head hurts. Instead of голова, instead of the last word in the sentence, you can replace it with any other part of your, of your body that may hurt. It can be stomach. У меня болит живот. It can be throat. У меня болит горло. Can be leg, can be arm, can be shoulder, can be whatever. But those are the three most common ones that can hurt typically in a regular sickness. It's your head, your throat, and your stomach, typically. Next one is when you're talking about when you're recovering, when you're getting better. The first one is мне лучше. Мне is often used with, I should say, with emotions, with feelings, when, when we want to describe something that we feel. For example, we can say, мне грустно, I feel sad, okay? Uh, мне, мне смешно, it's funny to me, okay? So, мне is going to mean to me. So, when you say, for example, that phrase, мне смешно, it is funny to me. Мне грустно, it is sad to me. Хорошо is, it is better to me, which means that I feel better, I'm getting better. Okay, so мне is used a lot when it comes to emotions. And you're going to notice that whenever you're going to be talking to a native or reading some, uh, you know, text uh, from a Russian author or so. So, мне лучше is I feel better. Next one is я выздоравливаю. I am getting better. Выздоравливаю is uh, a verb that is formed from здоровье, which is health. So, I'm getting healthier, I'm getting better, I'm recovering. Okay? Uh, now let's talk about the questions. And I have my list here, so if you wonder where I'm looking down, I have my list of, uh, of phrases there. The question that we ask, again, we just talked about recovery. The question that we ask about the recovery is как ты себя чувствуешь? How do you feel yourself? We can take out себя... Yeah, как ты чувствуешь? No, sorry. No, we cannot take out себя because when we're talking about without себя, we're talking about when you feel something else and not yourself. So, yeah, sorry. My fault. Um, как ты себя чувствуешь? How do you feel yourself? Which means, how do you feel? Next one is тебе лучше. Again, тебе was replaced... Sorry, мне in the previous one got replaced by тебе because now we're talking about you. We're asking a question to you, right? So we replaced мне with тебе, okay? And тебе лучше means, is it better to you now? Of course, it's, it's pretty clear. We just replaced the I with, with, with you and the meaning changed just slightly. Next one is, что у тебя болит? What hurts? What of yours is hurting? That's the question that you can answer. У меня болит голова. Remember the one that we used before? So, um, asking what, what hurts. Maybe it's a doctor asking you. Maybe it's your mom who is asking you. I don't know. But people want to know what hurts and so they can treat you right. And last one for today is very basic is Ты заболел? Did you get sick? So, ты заболел means did you get sick. And that's it from, from me today. 
I hope that I gave you some useful vocabulary, useful information in this video and you can walk away with something useful from today's video. That's it from me. I hope that I cleared everything that you needed to know. If not, ask me in the comments and I can translate or respond with the, with the actual phrase. Okay, I'll see you there. Пока-пока.